pandemic is a stressful one. You know it for so many of you out there, especially those who put their fertility treatments or adoptions on hold. Couples are left wondering if this change is going to be, you know, their, their chance for a baby is fading. Everything's in limbo. WMAR 2 News, Megan Knight has a very important story to tell tonight. Megan? When 26-year-old Andrea Leone married her husband Irving in 2013, they couldn't wait to start a family. But bringing a baby into this world proved to be far more challenging than they ever realized. We've had eight pregnancy losses. Um, that's our fertility journey. We've conceived all of them naturally. Actually, we can't figure out why I can't maintain a pregnancy. Each pregnancy started with hope and optimism and ended in tragedy. After the eighth loss, Andrea says she felt helpless. I felt like I was at a dead end. I didn't know where else to go. So she turned to the Cade Foundation, a nonprofit that helps couples dealing with infertility. She received a grant to cover costs with IVF. And just as she was about to start the process, the coronavirus hit the U.S. Andrea found herself having to make a very difficult decision. And I was, you know, really debating to move forward with treatment because I'm like, I've been through so many losses. I, I can't take this chance and lose it. She decided to put the treatments on hold, and she's not alone. The American Society of Reproductive Medicine has recommended all IVF treatments that had not already started prior to the coronavirus outbreak to be temporarily halted. They recommended that the people stop and wait until this, this pandemic, this crisis has passed and that we know more about the virus and the way that it can impact pregnancies and embryos and uh, women who are going through fertility treatment. Dr. Camille Hammond with the Cade Foundation says adoptions are also on hold. What I have heard from so many families is they feel like they've missed their chance. We are trying to keep our families encouraged and remind them that there are things that they can be doing even now to prepare themselves to be better parents when they ultimately bring that child home. Dr. Hammond suggests couples focus on things like nutrition and fitness, saving money, or improving their mental health. She also says it's a good idea for couples to find an online support group. Many organizations are here, they're available online, and this is the time where you can really engage and, um, and get that assistance that you need to move forward with your family building. Hope is not lost. Andrea says support groups have given her the strength to stay positive during such an uncertain time. And she hopes that this temporary setback does not derail her and her husband or other couples who dream of starting a family. If I can get this far, you can get way further. I Don't give up. Do not give up. We will overcome this pandemic. I know we will. And we all will have our happily ever afters. And the Cade Foundation does have a resource page on its website for couples who are looking for either support groups or maybe even fertility grants. We have a link to it on our website at WMAR2news.com. I'm Megan Knight for WMAR2news.